Good morning, friends. I am Sharath. Today, I am talking about gummy stem blight in melons and its management. Watermelon and musk melon are the two most popular crops for farmers in winter all over the India and entire world. These melon crops belongs to the family cucurbitus, and it's a creeper crop, and includes the crops like gourds, bitter gourd, ash gourd, and cucumbers and all. these melon crops are prone to many pests throughout its life if we talk about the insects many more sucking pests like uh, thrips aphids leaf eating caterpillar and um, fruit flies at the later stage of the crop may uh, affect and may damage that uh, uh, melon crops among the fungal diseases downy mildew powdery mildew gummy stem blight and today's our topic and uh, anthracone diseases is going to affect the melon crops including watermelon musk melon and all when it comes to the virus uh, diseases uh, mostly the cucumber mosaic virus and uh, papaya ring spot virus may affect them. in recent days this papaya ring spot virus is also affecting our um, um, melon crops badly we will talk about gummy stem blight which is caused by didymella bryonia virus okay the uh, family name is uh, didymella bryonia which is more prominent among cucurbitus it has become a serious issue for getting good yield and uh, getting major crop losses due to this gummy stem blight disease it also causes major losses and it's not managed properly now we will see what are the symptoms of gummy stem blight also we will call this as black rot diseases so why we called it as black rot and we will discuss in later stages initially because of this virus the symptoms will appear in leaves okay uh, the formation of water soaked marks on the young leaves uh, it is generally soil brown diseases in later stages those um, Uh, marks will become red after the that become dark brown in color spots develop into the entire plant and that entire um, uh, leaves of the particular plant at initial stage if you neglect this uh, this will affect the all the um, crop okay that creates a huge losses there will be a growth retardation in 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 that particular plants due to this virus a light pale color of the leaves and then um we will get uh, there is no proper flowering and there is no proper conversion of uh, um, flowers to fruits and even we can't able to get 100% pollination also the pollination will become very poor okay when we observe the water soaking on stem in later stages it will it can be uh, it may not um, cut in that stem okay we will observe that uh, there are some splits in uh stem and it it spells like a, a reddish gummy type of substance in the cranked area so where that wound was happened in that area we will get this gummy substance okay once the food passes from the roots to the other the plants of the pod stopped by the gummy stem blight virus uh the, the particular didymella fungus at the stem obviously there will be a poor growth okay because this particular fungus um stops that okay stops at that um, cranking place okay the, the plant can't able to uh, generate the food for its uh, survival and all okay once the disease passes the leaves lost their color and it become reddish in color brownish and suddenly they will fall and they will die okay this disease uh, sometimes may affect the fruit also um, how it is in the, the end part of the fruit got rotten and they will just converted into black color okay that is called okay in this particular uh, video uh, in this uh, watermelon figure you are seeing that the black spots are calling okay that that is got rotten okay because of this uh, didymella bryonia fungus what are the reason for this um, gummy stem blight actually we have to understand one one foremost thing every living has its right to live on earth okay the cucumber crops are the primary host for this uh, particular fungus okay to live it will obviously search for the watermelon to attack okay 
whenever the um, favorable environmental conditions in winters and late winters uh, because of the <laughs> less temperature <laughs> and uh, more moisture <laughs> the temperature difference of the day and night um, uh, are very more okay when the temperature difference is more th there is there is a much prone to attack of this particular fungus okay so uh, the other thing is that in addition to this the closer spacing of the plants okay the farmer generally do the mistake okay they need to plant the more plants in their um, planting area no no that we have to stop okay we have to maintain particular particular distance between the plant to plant okay then only they will get good um, uh, air and um, wind then the disease attack may be very less okay w one other cause with in previous season also the same crop if they cultivated okay in one or two places the the derbies okay will left over now again that particular fungus still remain in that um, uh, soil only if we grow the same crop again it may affect the melon crops okay so for this we have to do that um, crop rotation okay crop rotation is the very vital role okay we have to rotate it with any pulses crop like green gram black gram or whatever it may be other thing is that we need to uh, manage weeds properly okay improper weed management will cause insects uh, may attack weeds and spread the diseases okay this is also very um, vital thing there are some spraying insecticides but they are not at all properly applying no? so what exactly happen you see when you are spraying uh, the chemicals and all na, the insects may die okay but na, improper nutrients uh, management by farmer okay that also uh, give some problem to the particular um, crop okay improper management of soil nutrients and all generally the plants need all the essential nutrients for that growing stages to fight with all the diseases next thing why the um, other insects affect the plants okay generally the flea beetle and all okay they will cause some wounds on the plants okay there may be a chance okay that fungus may affect in the particular wounded area and one more thing is that the farmer should manage that irrigation properly and uh, one other thing is very important thing soil solarization okay the cultivation is required in summers one or two times we need to expose our soil for sun and all okay and one more thing actually we need to whenever we are coming for that um, controlling measures and all we will go for uh, uh, like uh, seed treatment 35% metallaxyl and copper oxychloride will work in, uh, very good in uh, chemical control if we think about chemical we have to take some uh, detrimental measures okay then only we are going to um, control this um, by helping the chemical and all nowadays there are lot of molecules available okay at initial stages once we notice that now we have to apply for mancoja bm45 we will get in the market we have to apply it for 2 gram for later after that we have to go for syngenta company any folio gold or bear one lona experience and bsf mary one even prioxer will work fantastic okay it's the systematic and contact one okay two protective springs must required okay thank you thanks for watching my video